Welcome back friends to Need for Speed Heat Studio. Today, as you can clearly see, we have a whole bunch of cars that I really, really want to customize today. Uh, the top two rows are pretty pointless, especially the I8. The fact that it was already in the game, except is a normal one. Either way, we have the Mercedes C63 Coupe, we have the Ford Favorite Italia, the Countach, and also the M3, in case you wanted to customize the M3 again. Now, before we dive into these amazing cars, I just want to let you know that these shirts, or similar, are on sale on the store. Now, if you want to go and check it out, pre-orders are live. We're going to have limited stock for the first one, so please get your orders in. Right, so where do we begin? <sighs> Let's start with the C63. This is something that a lot of people were requesting to be in Need for Speed Payback as an update. It's actually referenced multiple times in the game. We got the G-Wagon. We, we started to get some trickles of Mercedes in there. But now, my friends, it's time, yes, for the C63, which is basically everyone wants to compare it to the M3 and the others and the Julia and whatever. Anyway, jump to the parts customization. Hopefully, we got some nice bits in here. We got uh, prior design. I do know that that's actually a thing. This is the splitters. Let's Again, jump to the front bumpers first. Two options. We've got prior design, and that's it. I kind of like the normal bumper, to be completely honest with you. Wow, okay. This is off to a great start already, isn't it? Yes, yes. Anyway, we'll add a little bit of carbon on there for that. Bit of blue lights. Change to purple. Sure, whatever. Uh, the fenders, hopefully. Oh, We've got a Need for Speed wide body kit and also a prior design body kit. I'm going to see what the Need for Speed kit looks like i i just i've never i've never seen anything like that before in my life it's kind of what is this it's like they saw the prior design and was like no it is not enough we need absolutely mental and yes it's exactly what they've done i'm gonna be honest with you i think the prior design one probably makes a little bit more sense i do like the side skirt there though so i'm gonna steal that mix and match the body kit right Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this is an issue that's in this app because it's happened to every single car that I've managed to do so far. We can actually remove the No, we're putting a we're putting a roof wang on. I'll take it. But no, seriously, I I think it's a bug. There's a quite a few bugs in this game. I'm assuming a lot of the fitment issues we have are probably bugs too. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see when the game comes out. If, if it's not a bug, I'm going to be severely, severely angry. Please, chassis mount, beg. What is that? <laughs> and Mercedes taking off the wing completely. I actually had a little lip on there. That is the most ridiculous. It looks like it's suction cupped on. No way. What? <laughs> No! Look at the diffusers! Why is it blue underneath? Why why is the bottom blue? Is it actually like that? I I severely think not. And that adds a little bit more aggression to the rear bumper. Very nice indeed. And we can add some aggressive looking exhausts on the back too. That is just insane. A couple of wing mirrors, just in case you wanted some sleeker. There's actually quite a lot of wing mirrors on this car. Normally, there's not many and there's not much to choose from. These look pretty nice, but the standard ones are carbon fibre. So that's, <laughs> that's where we're going to go, right? Why would I go from carbon fibre to not carbon fibre? Hoods, that is the most horrendous thing I have ever seen in my life. I'm going to go with the standard Mercedes hood. Nice and clean and the grille. I'm going with the standard Mercedes grille. Stance tuning, the height is on full. But, oh yes, it slammed. It The fitment is uh, kind of having an issue at the back there, but it fits nicer than a lot of the other cars, thankfully. Again, maybe they had time to work on this one before they dropped it and realized, yeah, people, people kind of want to lower their cars properly a little bit. The Mercedes is complete. I am digging this i'm so grateful that mercedes is here now this is something that's been lacking and missing from the series a lot of mercedes there used to be quite a lot of mercedes even when the criterion was making the games where have they gone i don't know but i appreciate that big booty big booty wang <laughs> okay you know why we are here the 458 can you customize ferraris on need for speed this is the age-old question does ferrari hate customization We'll find out. We've got headlight options. We've got fender options. What are the fender options, actually? I, I don't even... We're... Hang on. This is, the, this is the racy boy kit. The lights tint properly. The trunk lid, there's no option. The spoilers! Oh, can we... <gasps> We're putting need for speed spoilers, but 
I'm sorry. Nah, I'm so happy Ferrari are back. I cannot wait to see what they do with the last Ferrari. Though we've already got the FFXK. What can we do to the FFXK? Probably nothing. But either way, I am, I am loving this. Sorry, TJ Hunt. I'm making it a little bit easier for myself. You know, you, 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 it's going to take you about 60 days, mate. It's going to take me about five minutes. I'll be cutting you like a DJ. Now, <laughs> we're going to go through the wheels. I want to see if we have any more Ferrari wheels because that would be very useful. The, the scrolling on this is not great. Wing mirrors and the front bumper. Oh, and the splitter. Oh, race car Ferrari. Boys, you already know. Finally. I am going to be doing proper grip manamaji on this game. We're going to have proper official racing. Mate, it's going to look amazing. There's so much we can do to this game. And slam out the Ferrari. I am so happy you are back, Ferrari. We're going to go into, not parts, we're going to go into paint. I'm not going to change the paint because it is a Ferrari. We're just going to tint the windows and make it look super finished. Wow. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Ferrari. We're in an age, okay, we're in 2019. There is no Toyota Super because they don't want to be in illegal straight racing games, but there's Ferrari, which do with race kits. Last but definitely not least is the Contash, which fits this game so well. Better than any other car, to be completely honest. And we're going to jump into some customization. We're going to start with the front bumper as per usual. We'll go in the complete wrong direction. We've got three options for the front bumper. Hello, baby. Oh, this is amazing. I was not, again, I can't say I wasn't expecting any customization. I would have been annoyed if there wasn't. Because look at that perfect splitter for it. It's a square splitter for a square car. Oh, <laughs> we can pop up the lights if you want to. It's got a wide body kit. Are you kidding me? We need the boxier one. The boxier one makes more sense because that's it's similar to the body's design as per normal. We're going to go for that. The ghost parts. Bit more boxy. I, I, I like the round one. Don't get me wrong. I know that full well I'm probably going to end up... Oh, the modern lights on the rear. I'm going to go with it. Just because I want to try all the bits. You know, I want to see all the bits. Combination of the bits. All the bits. Uh, we got an adjustable wang. We got a taller wang. We got most of the, the Voltex wangs. That just looks weird. It looks silly without the wing. I'm going to keep the standard wing. I'm sorry, but this... Just the way it's gonna go with this car. Big diffuser. What's the top one? That's ridiculous. No rear bumpers, unfortunately. We got some wilding exhausts here. Holy God. I cannot wait to start driving this car, these cars in the open world of the game. Just exploring. I'm ready. Can we can we stop can we stop the waiting now? It's kind of ridiculous. And finally, big vent on the hood. And we're done. Surely we can lower this pretty well. It's it's an old car. It, I'll take it, to be honest with you. The customization makes it so worth it. I am so excited for Need for Speed Heat. I, it's devastating making the cars on mobile and not actually being able to drive them or hear them or anything like we can in the full game. But that we have to look forward to when it comes out. I've been presently surprised with this. If I was going to suggest some changes, I would like some black Ferrari wheels because I know they exist for the car. And also, I would like to see the grill blacked out for this Mercedes. I would like to see a D-chrome option as, as a standard thing because that's something that car manufacturers don't do a lot of. But everyone wants to do. Audi know exactly what I'm talking about. They do it as a standard, so you have to... Mm, I would make the black roof black here if I uh, had some patience to do the vinyls, but uh, <laughs> I don't. Uh, and I, uh, other than that, I'm really happy. The Ferrari, I'm happy. <laughs> the Lamborghini has a customization as I expected it would. Not very much, but it's got two wide bodies, which is it's what everyone wants, right? If you if you if you want to customize a classic car like that, you're going to try and ruin it. But of the three cars, I'm going to say I'm happy about the C63 the most. It's just something about finally having that car. There's something we really wanted in the last game. And of course, it's got three iterations of the M3 to go against the M4. M M4. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, my friends. Be sure to smash that. Like. Remember, check out the store. We have merch live new. Please check it out. Me and my friend worked on it quite a bit. And we're going to be shipping it all, all ourselves. Other than that, smash the like. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next drop, which will be next week. Until next time. Peace.